and we're talking about emergency care of your cat. Uh, to, today we'd like to talk a little bit about abscesses in cats. Abscesses are very common, especially if cats are going outside. Cats are very territorial. They don't like other cats coming onto their property. And if there are male cats that are out there that have not been neutered, they're marauding around looking for animals to breed and oftentimes create problems in this area. Uh, the other thing that we find is uh, abscesses happen a lot more in the springtime and the fall because of breeding seasons and even cats that have been spayed and neutered are still uh, moving around at a lot higher rate during that time. Uh, the reason that abscesses happen in cats uh, uh, so frequently is because cats have the ability to heal their skin very quickly. So if a cat gets a puncture wound from a tooth or from a claw, the bacteria gets injected under the skin, uh, the skin heals over, but yet the bacteria is still in uh, the animal. Uh, and again, the type of bacteria that is frequently on a cat's mouth or in their claws uh, is one that is not uh, uh, taken care of very well by the immune system. And so, if you uh, have noticed uh, that your cat's been in a fight, it's always good to talk, talk to your veterinarian immediately because you can prevent your cat from getting an abscess if you put them on antibiotics right after the fight. Uh, about three or four days after the fight, based a little bit on where the cat had the bite wound or the scratch, uh, you're going to start seeing some swelling. Sometimes these open up and they drain a little bit, and the draining actually has a very foul odor to it. So those are the ways you can tell. If your cat is bitten in the foot, for instance, down here, uh, the leg will swell up, your cat might start limping. Uh, if your cat has been hit in the head with a nail or bitten, uh, you can see some swelling up on the top part of the head. Uh, again, the head and the front part are the, where the areas where your cat gets the abscesses mostly if they're very aggressive cats and they're out looking for a fight. We see a lot of abscesses on the back end over on this area over here uh, in cats that are a little more timid and they're running away from a cat that's beating up on them. Um, the other thing that's interesting about abscesses is uh, if you get a, a puncture wound on the top of the head, gravity is pulling down into the animal so that's very unusual for them to be able to heal that on their own. Uh, conversely, if there's a bite under the ventral side of the head here, or on the ventral side of the animal, gravity is pulling away from the animal, and so they often can heal those on their own. It would be very important if you can get uh, your cat to hold still for some hot compresses as soon as you notice any swelling. Uh, but once again, <clears throat> it's very important to understand that that's probably what's happening if you know your cat's been in a fight and getting them on some antibiotics. Again, because this bacteria is growing inside of the animal uh, and the only way to really kill the bacteria is with an antibiotic. Sometimes the animals cure them on their own. Again, if it's on the ventral side, the gravity is helping to pull the bacteria away from the animal while the immune system kicks in and then sometimes they open up and some of this abscess fluid drains away from the animal. So keep your cat inside, you won't get abscesses, but if you do see one on your cat, apply a hot compress. One way you can do that is with a, a hot wash rag. You put it over the leg if your cat will allow that, or over the spot. Sometimes, again, you speed up the uh, animal's circulation, and then they can get rid of it with their own immune system on some cases.